I am passing to Dweller. Uh, this is my computer engineering project CB Self Care, a smart electricity meter system. Uh, so, my index number is uh, 18 ENG112. Uh, my registration number is EN91361. Uh, introduction uh, This system is real time electricity usage monitoring system. Uh, both users and the service provider are updated with the current usage and the overall usage. Uh, user can manage both the electricity usage within necessary limit and have the power to control his or her device. Uh, no need of wasting manpower for manual meter reading. Problem definition uh, With the current system, lot of manpower is wasted for manual meter reading. Uh, customers are not able to view their current usage easily. If the usage passes a certain limit, additional charge charges are applied on the bill people are not aware of peak and off peak times of electricity usage uh, there is no signal fa single platform for customers to manage and pay their electricity bills aim uh, the aim of the project is to develop a system for addressing a web application to read the electricity consumption for every month and pay the bill via smartphone uh, Ob main objective uh, read the current electricity consumption details from the phone or laptop uh, make a secure and easy way of reading and paying the bills uh, building up a trusted connection with the CB and the user uh, now on to the demonstration uh, before going to the demonstration I would like to say uh, what are the features of my application side uh, features of the web application uh, I'm doing a web application uh, both can be used in uh, laptop and mobile phone so it's a responsive web application uh, using uh, I have used JavaScript CSS HTML uh, like uh, MySQL uh, those languages uh, the anyone who is having this device can con create uh, create account by using his or her email email verification should be passed to access the dashboard if there is any complaints or need help uh, there is a contact form to send email to support team uh, user can control his or her home electric equipments uh, remotely using the web application on the other hand web application shows the total cost for the previous unit consumed within the month user can check the live map if a power failure occurs because all the active and inactive meters are showing in it so now it's going to uh, demonstrate how the application is working and the how the uh, hardware part is working uh, this is my device uh, it has two uh, LCD displays and three bulbs uh, so currently it's, uh, the three bulbs are working and two displays are also working uh, and uh, one display is showing the uh, voltage current uh, power factor uh, frequency and those kind of uh, details uh, are showing in this uh, LCD display uh, so on the other hand it's showing the cost and the unit uh, currently we are calculating the cost uh, within the device uh, so the cost is calculating within the device and it sends to the cloud uh, database so you can see uh, it is working uh, three bulbs so we can con uh, control these bulbs using our web application also uh, this is how when I do in the project how the in uh, inside appear uh, this is my web application uh, for a new user uh, he or she should create account first uh, for create account uh, we should uh, go to the sign up uh, click sign up then we should register using our name uh, then I will using gmail address uh, then uh, any password at the moment uh, remembering password and we can we can use something like uh, the validations are done so we should use it like like things uh, so then we are registered so this uh, will send that uh, the registration link notification link will be sent to the this email so then I go to my email then I can see a uh, uh, verification email loss uh, in my inbox so I go to that then click uh, click here for login uh, then it will send to uh, this login page again and I will enter my uh, email address and password 
then login uh, so this is my uh, dashboard interface uh, at the moment uh, i have developed uh, how to control the devices live map charts and uh, tables uh, then i'm going to the device control panel yes, that three works are working so i'm i uh, going to off these things So these three bulbs have uh, the bulbs got off. Uh, now I can on these things. Uh, so it on leave this bulb. So the working principle is uh, this. Uh, uh, there is a database in the cloud. Uh, so we can view that database. Uh, here this is uh, the cloud server database. Uh, in the cloud server database, I'm using. Uh, uh, this status LED called uh, data table and it's updating the status so it, it, it has uh, only one row uh, so it's sending some uh, values to that row then every time uh, the node MCU is reading uh, the data from uh, that uh, uh, table uh, so there is uh, two slow because uh, this is a free version uh, uh, from Heroku uh, database, database uh, is a Heroku database uh, Heroku MySQL so you can see that the stat is 1 uh, when I click another uh, you can get idea that it's uh, this uh, this server is a uh, readily change I, I, I only use 3 bulbs but there are 8 Oh, we can go for 24, 32. There are so many relative modules, and we can connect those things. Uh, so I have used eight, and then I refresh this. Uh, the stat should be uh, belongs to this button value. So it will read. Then automatically, uh, uh, the bulb will on. Uh, the show the details showing is. Uh, pretty bit slow because uh, this is a free service but uh, the database updated quickly uh, quickly but showing is uh, something so the 15 uh, 15 is assigned to this uh, bulb 8 uh, on button so that is working like that uh, the next thing is uh, Uh, so now I'm going to the live grid map, uh, uh, CB live meet activity map. Uh, here uh, we can see uh, the active maps and inactive map, inactive devices. Uh, so the name of the owner also displaying here in this map. Uh, here the red color is uh, that the uh, meter is inactive, and the blue color is uh, meter is active, and these uh, green points are uh, the service station points. So we are mapping uh, these uh, points using GPS uh, coordinates uh, in our device. Uh, there is a GPS module Neo 6M GPS module. So it is connected to the Node MCU. So we are getting the uh, longitude and uh, latitude value uh, from the GPS module and it sends to the uh, database. Uh, through the database, uh, we are uh, retrieving those data uh, to the map and we are pointing pointing here so we are using a Google API and uh, Google developer uh, version account uh, so we can uh, uh, at the moment uh, this this is the owner of owner of the meter and something like account name uh, something like uh, that uh, previous kind of things also uh, pop upping if the uh, meter is inactive uh, so 
at the future development we would like to implement that uh, sending some message if the meter is active inactive automatically or mapping something to the maintenance team uh, the road nearest road mapping uh, to the maintenance team to reach the point and solve the problem like that things will be uh, developed in future uh, so at the moment uh, we are uh, retrieving the data from the cloud database and uh, pointing whether the uh, map is inactive or uh, inactive or active so whether we are doing that we are getting some signals if the voltage is equal to zero or less than uh, some values uh, the meter is inactive uh, then I would like to go for my charts uh, uh, this is a PHP script so this is my table on the cloud uh, it is updating every time so we can see uh, that uh, if we go for another uh, uh, another time this is power uh, energy frequency power factor uh, current voltage and account number so uh, at the moment uh, this is showing that the volt uh, 180 voltage uh, this is not the voltage actually the values values and uh, getting from the uh, database is wrong uh, so that's why this uh, data graphs are showing like uh, incorrect so I showed that uh, in my admin panel what I'm constructing I have to do some adding some uh, analog meters that showing the uh, values uh, and we can add some uh, charts pie charts bar charts uh, according to the time so uh, because of the time of this project uh, I was unable to complete uh, uh, complete uh, so now I'm going to show that uh, how the device perform and how uh, it uh, react uh, if we use this thing so first I go to device control panel so here this is my device control panel when I on this bulb uh, it will that you can see till on bulb uh, then likewise you can I have configured three bulbs uh, these three bulbs are can be on and off remotely uh, if we uh, uh, put these files into a server uh, we can uh, remotely connect with this device and work anywhere if you we, if we were in America we can control this uh, device from America whether this device is in Sri Lanka so when you go to the uh, uh, that table uh, we can see how whether the table is uh, changing uh, uh, the value so I first I would like uh, I on one bulb uh, when then I see then I can uh, see that the power is 17.40 uh, then I all on two bulbs uh, so it will go to it will double the value power but actually uh, these bulbs have manufactured by different manufacturers so the power might be different uh, so likewise uh, we can get uh, get a value range that we are on two bulbs like likewise if we get three bulbs uh, it will be around 40 uh, 40 kilowatts 40 watts power is one watt energy kilowatts frequency hertz so it will update the value uh, very quickly thirty two point six zero so uh, likewise it uh, we can we can check how many power is using then we are uh, getting these values to uh, calculate the cost uh, the cost calculation is done in the Arduino code uh, here this is my uh, 8 channel VTA module controlling not MC code uh, so we have controlled 8 uh, yeah, electric equipments uh, uh, the other thing is 
uh, this one peace and control uh, our audience support uh, the, the car and, and all, and the, all the things i'm sharing, sharing through this this call and the data is both 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 the data is ending and the cpu uh, uh, the php api api uh, so what so was here the sum of what are the others equal per equal or less than or equal to the this is the calculation solution here we are getting, getting pulse rate, rate. Uh, uh, and then some, some calculations uh, with the uh, 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 audio record and then uh, 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 the voltage, uh, 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 car power uh, factor, uh, energy, uh, energy uh, uh, by using the PSM uh, 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 module. Uh, uh, so it's very easy to calculate these things. The car and energy is also a unit, not unit, it's a calculator. So it was the cost of calculated within the audio device and send it to the server. So this is my audio output. Then I will show you the PSM API. It is hosted in a server. Uh, so, so I am using www.boss.com uh, 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 So we have created a project So we have to go inside that panel This is free C panel So I have a default PHP That means the same the the node and the node send the data to this PHP API then, then, then the PHP API forward, forward that uh, uh, packets or uh, data uh, uh, to the uh, uh, database. database then, then that, is that is the sending process, process when you get data, data. Uh, so also get, get, get by, by, get by the PHP, PHP API so all the connections are uh, connected between the PHP API uh, this, this is the ファイルファイルエンジンエンジンエンジンエンジンエンジンエンジンエンジンエンジンエンジンエンジンエンジンエンジンエンジンエンジンエンジンエンジンエンジンエンジンエンジンエンジンエンジンエンジンエンジンエ
so this is our admin dashboard uh, view uh, so we need that also I have developed some uh, uh, quotes but it, it's, it's also something get uh, displayed wrong values so the current like these meters can be implemented within this, within our project uh, and the data uh, graphs are also uh, some the labels are incorrect uh, that is the main case uh, this analogy is showing that frequency so it should be corrected uh, within our system this is the device workflow diagram uh, here what is the uh, what is we are, we are doing is we are have we have two node mcus uh, so one is connected to the eight channel eight channel relay module and the other is connected to the psm0040 sensor with cd sensor so this sensor is uh, uh, getting values of voltage uh, current power energy all all of the things are getting from the sensor eight channel relay module is to uh, control the devices home equipments remotely so in this uh, module uh, we get the uh, uh, power and we are uh, time to time means, means uh, 60 seconds we are we are calculating the power uh, and uh, at the end of uh, one hour we are divided it in by uh, 3600 uh, then it convert to, to watt power then uh, we go for some calculations uh, so uh, zero to uh, some values uh, we are converting it to uh, units then the watt power is converted to units so certain unit limits uh, 0 to 10 uh, this unit uh, this rate uh, something like 5 rupees per unit uh, then 10 to 100 uh, 10 rupees per unit likewise we are calculating the build and displaying the build inside the uh, device because we have uh, st7290 uh, lcd display uh, so uh, that displays using to uh, display the cost uh, so then we send all these data to the uh, router and the router is forwarding those uh, data packets to a php api so the php api is using to uh, do mysql uh, execute mysql queries so those mysql queries are working on heroku database so the data is uh, storing in heroku database uh, and the responsive web application is directly getting the data stored in the mysql database uh, so this is our circuit diagram uh, this is how i use the psm0040 uh, module and how the uh, 5 volt power is given to the node mcu this is how uh, uh, st7920 uh, display uh, then this is how the 8 channel relay module is using so in uh, there are so many relay, relay modules we can use uh, 24 32 likewise uh, there are so many things and we can add separately also uh, the next thing is key challenges face difficulties when gathering the electronic parts due to the remaining conditions of the country uh, could not purchase some hardware components due to higher tax rates uh, new programming language and technologies were learned within a short period of time calibrating the sensor was a difficult task without having laboratory facilities uh, there are so many ident unidentified security issues can be occurred the device should be accepted by uh, Sinon board uh, working with 200 
30 volt is very risky so always keep in touch with the project uh, future development completing the full hardware system and design printed pcb to avoid wired connection uh, future energy consumption and cost forecasting uh, machine learning algorithms is to added uh, is to be added uh, add payment gateway to the real payments uh, at prepaid or postpaid meter options to the meter at more security features uh, uh, should add for the web application the cloud service add uh, automatic power failure informing method to the service provider when a certain power loss happens is also a future implementation uh, in our project uh, powerful uh, GPS model should be added to the device to avoid GPS signal loss problems uh, uh, in conclusion, today's electricity bill seeding system is done by manually uh, because uh, today in this COVID situation, sometimes uh, there might be uh, difficulties to uh, visit the houses and read the uh, uh, electricity, electricity meter. So, uh, so at these cases, these uh, smart meters are uh, well, very well useful, and to save the energy also, it might be very useful. And also, there is no signal platform for customer to manage and pay both their electricity bills. Uh, though, though there are some applications we can pay uh, by adding ourselves. The bill is not generating, and uh, there is no uh, awareness of the bill. How many? Uh, my rupees we should spend for our electricity bill for a month uh, we have no idea about that but through the systems we can get the idea every day how many uh, cost we should spend for a day and which device is using uh, more power uh, likewise we can get uh, more accurate details so we decided to create the system to read and pay the bill uh, by customer itself uh, the system consists with the hardware part and software part when considering about the software part both users and the service providers are updated with the current usage and the overall usage so at the moment we are developing the cost customer side uh, and there is also admin side who can view all these things and adding customers like adding or adding customers or decline customer uh, accounts likewise things can be done